So hey out there, it's about three o'clock Monday. I am just like stressing myself out here. Just uh, <laughs> like a waste of day. <laughs> just came from the post office, had to mail the fuel bill. I just put the minimum amount in there. Just so it doesn't clear up my bank account, right? And it's all the way in Kentucky, so it gives me a few days. It gives me this week. Well, maybe I can make some money, put some money in the account there. Not sure exactly how, but... But, you know, I can't just hang around the house all day. What's there to do? I mean, I got other people living there. And they got their thing going on, and it's like, uh, I don't even want to... Don't talk to me, you know? <laughs> Sorry, but I'm not feeling right. Just leave me alone. I didn't say that, but I'm like, uh, they were asking me questions the other day about something. I'm, oh, my niece is moving out, and uh, do you want to change rooms, this room to that room? It's like, you know, because right now, that's the least of my issues. I don't give a shit, right? I don't even want to be there. If I could, I'd just take off somewhere. <laughs> I'm screwed. Well, wow, guys, I've seen a lot of uh, service plumber jobs out there, but you know what? I'm not very sociable, so it's gonna be kind of diff difficult for me to do service work. I mean, going to people's houses and stuff, and it's like, I don't know. I mean, I've done that. I've worked for myself before. And I get like uh, panicky or, I don't know, anxiety or whatever. You know, this is why I don't work for myself. I've tried it before. I mean, I've been laid off work before for a number of, it could be a week, it could be a month. So I do little side jobs, but man, I would get like a, panic attacks you know I'm trying to do my work and people are talking to me and I just can't I can't handle that I just like work and do my thing you know you're trying to be nice and at a certain point I just want to get out of there <laughs> and you're rushing you know, I'm cutting corners because I just man, I can't take I just want to get out of here hurry up put it together scram <laughs> That's why I not, that's why I don't apply for those service jobs. And some of those service jobs I have looked into, it says no commercial plumbers. I'm a commercial plumber. What do you mean no commercial plumbers? What kind of plumbers do they want? Plumber's a plumber, right? I mean. So I don't know. I don't know. Give me, give me a pipeline to run from here to there, you know? <sighs> yeah. So, excuse me, right? Well, guys, oh, all right, so it's four o'clock. I'm still feeling really uptight. Uptight, you know, just like. I'll stop and get me a beer on the way home or something. <laughs> I'm just wondering, man, is that going to be my last beer? Look <laughs> at mm, I can't even afford a hat. This hat's done. I was wondering why I had a sore spot on my head. I'd go for a hike and taking a shower the next day, my head's sore back there. It's like it's getting sunburned through that hole. Uh, oh well, yeah, maybe I'll stop and get a beer, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I threw some bills in the mail there and, you know, said a couple prayers, said a couple Hail Marys and something will come through by Friday. 
Well guys, I'm back home in my little room. Yeah, this is my little computer room here. I'm having a cold one. It looks like they're interested in me at that last uh, job interview I got. They want to do an in-person interview now. I think I'll shave for that one, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, things may be looking up, you know. I get back to work with a steady job, steady paycheck. And maybe I should be back in a new truck soon, right? <laughs> That's the number one thing. So far, I've saved my credit. But if I blow my credit, and I'm getting pretty damn close to that, having trouble paying the bills, then I won't be able to get a new truck. <laughs> but I should be feeling good, but I'm like, okay. Now I gotta start thinking about interview. Oh boy. Hate those interviews. You don't know what they're gonna ask you. And I'm like, uh, I'm not a very talkative person. I'm like, I gotta think, um, huh? What was the question? <laughs> like that time card question I got. What if I saw someone else punching someone else's card? Heck, I wouldn't say anything. Would you say anything? You know you wouldn't say anything, right? Like, what the hell do I care? Yeah, so anyway, it's probably those same people, but uh, wish me luck, right? Uh, I gotta make an appointment tomorrow. I told them I'll call them back tomorrow before noon. <sighs> what is... I'm trying, I'm trying, guys. I <laughs> mean, really, I'm just like... I'm at the end of my rope, really. I'm just ready to just drive off a cliff somewhere. Goodbye. I had enough. It's been a fun ride, right? Oh, guys, what is it, Wednesday? I might have some work out here. I'm at Concordia University in Irvine, California. <laughs> I think I'm in the right spot. <laughs> That's a building, he told me. So, uh, basically, he's rerouting some dryer vents. <laughs> you know, clothes dryers? There's four of them. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Says he's got everything, and I go look at it, and I'm like, I wouldn't do it like that, but that's the way he wants to do it. He wants to use that flex stuff, you yeah? know? I'd hard pipe it with some regular, you know, sheet metal vents. Cause it's uh it's a little much. But alright, whatever. <laughs> it's better than sitting at home doing nothing and worrying about paying the bills, right? Oh man, it's a walk though. He told me the wrong building. I was at the wrong building all the time. Well that's it. That's the job. We'll reroute those out over to there. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Hmm. Another interview today. Wish me luck, right? I didn't shave this time. Oh, 30 more minutes. This is nerve wracking. It's like going to the electric chair, right? <laughs> get this over with so this is a uh, city of hope city of hope hospital I guess the hospitals over there so. we'll just uh, hang in there see what happens right well hey guys like I said welcome to my world right it is um Saturday the 16th of December. Oh, uh, yeah, so it's another exciting Saturday. But I did get paid today, that's good. Actually, I have some money in the bank now. <laughs> some money. It's getting a little worried there during the week. 
uh, make myself sick thinking about it. Like, oh man, what am I gonna do? <coughs> yeah. But things turned out all right so far. Made it through another another one, right? Um, Friday, I got an interview, another interview from a hotel, from a hospital I applied for. Working in the maintenance department for a hospital, facilities department. I'm like, all right, let's go, all right? It looks good. It's local, nice, clean facilities, a hospital, everything's really modern, up-to-date, uh, organized. And like I said, it's close by. I'm not having to drive an hour to drive to work in the morning at some construction site. That's, uh, but we'll see how this goes. I kind of got the feeling that maybe they think I'm a little too old for this job. Because I was like, man, I was expecting to run into older, be interviewed by older people. You know, <laughs> it's like, fuck, uh, I think I'm older than everybody there that I interviewed me. One guy even sat back in his chair and wanted to know how long I've been plumbing and started thinking back, you know, what year was that? And uh, tell me he was in college back then. I go, oh, yeah, all right, whatever, you know. <laughs> so, thinking about it, man, do I really want to work 40 hours a week? The only time off you get is, what, weekends and holidays? <laughs> it's like, I like the freedom to take off whenever I want to, right? And not come back unless I want to. <laughs> Freaking blows. But I need a steady paycheck. I need some health insurance. I need I need to get a steady paycheck so I can go buy another new truck, right? Because right now I got no wheels to go anywhere except for the car. It's not gonna get you very far. Not the places I want to go. So I guess we'll just see how this goes. If I get the job, good. I got some money coming in meanwhile. Maybe something else will come up. We'll just see how it works. Yeah, it'd be nice to have health insurance. Be nice to have some money in the bank regularly. I can pay off some bills. I owe the IRS like $4,000. I got a bill from a, from a freaking uh, uh, urgent care when I, when I had COVID. I don't know how I got that bill, but it's, it's, it's $490 for a visit, for an office visit. Wow. Killing me. So anyway, that's just going on. It's Saturday, I'm going to crack me open a cold one. It's 4 o'clock. It's just like... I just got back a little while ago from picking up my check and uh, got some work lined up for Monday and Tuesday, so that's good. And I even got paid in advance, so that's even better. I am comfortable, I can breathe now. <sighs> yeah. So let's just see how this goes. I may get the job, I may not get the job. I mean, I tell them, hey, I'm a plumber, I can do just about it. I can do it all. I tell I've, I've been lucky enough to do it all. <laughs> I snake drains, I put in pipe. I've ordered materials, scheduled labor, dealt with contractors, I mean, done layouts, I've done excavations. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see how it works out. I had a tour of the facilities Friday and I, they took me around to meet people in different departments so they could ask me any questions. Kind of like an informal interview. So I, I, that went kind of good because I was feeling really bad in the morning. Like, I go, oh no, no, another one of these interviews where you go before a, a panel, you know, it's like four or five people sitting there ask, asking you questions. You're sitting there like, yeah, I was getting a little. I was getting a little uh, worked up about that Thursday night thinking about that. But uh, I really liked the way they, they interviewed me. It was, it was quite uh, informal. And then everybody seemed pretty cool, you know. 
See how it works out. Hmm. Guess I just gotta keep playing the lottery, right? <laughs> That's the only way I see out of here, out of this mess.